Well, I won't have him walking through this house like it were a public convenience. Don't be so vulgar. Why? What's happened? He didn't say. He walked through here like it were a public convenience. Hello everyone, welcome to Motor and Beep Beep. My name is Alan and I'm in Denham in Buckinghamshire to find the final resting place of a very typically English gentleman called John Mills or oh, Sir John Mills to give him his full title and there we are there's a church it's the St Mary's Church Denham so let's move in and find the gentleman himself it's just right for him actually because it's a it's a quintessentially English place look you see fits the bill perfectly doesn't it and the church in let me down it's spot on very picturesque and neither does day actually it's october but it's like uh, you know it's almost like summer it's absolutely super today just look at that house behind me <sighs> kind of trendy isn't it <laughs> okay let's go find john mills so john mills was um he was knighted by the queen in 1976 and like I say, he's, he's, if you had to pick one chap that sort of give you that uh, very English feel, it was John Mills. He was a, a very, very good gentleman, wasn't he? Um, and his very first beginning, his first film that he actually uh, got some recognition for, was a film which was called We Dive Before Dawn in 1943. And that was the first one that started him on, on the path to to uh, star them in the films but he did lots of classics he really did the first film which he sort of topped the bill on was the happy breed which was uh, by david lean and um oh the bell's going that's lovely there we are four o'clock four o'clock and all is well yeah and he started he started on the bill with that one now it's got a it's bigger than what you think this graveyard because basically I've come around the back expecting it to be there, but there's like a big offshoot to the left. So we're going to have a wander, really. Churches love a look. It's that pebble effect. Very old by the look of it. It's got the clamp there because the walls are crumbling a bit, the S clamp. And then in 1948, he, um, he took the title role in Scott of the Antarctic, which is a super English film, isn't it, you know? <coughs> That's the one where they say, I shall just be going out for a short while, knowing that they were going out of the tent to die, because um, it was too cold. Yeah, so I'm lucky today. I got my shorts on in October. It's not bad, that is it? <laughs> uh, but the the film I I really loved him in was Hobson's Choice, where I played Pip, and uh, wonderful character in Hobson's Choice. And then he did uh, another. They're all beautifully English films, if you know what I mean, aren't they? The Cold It's Story, 1955. I enjoyed the series about that as well. We'll go down this way, I think. Um, and then really came a couple of really big films for him. 1958. My favourite was Ice Cold in Alex. And of course you get that classic scene where all they're thinking about is the, the, the ice beer at the end, you know? That's all they can dream of when they're in the desert. And at the very end of the film you see the, la the lager in the glass. And he's staring at it because he wants to drink it. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd feel the same way, actually. But one of my absolute favourites, maybe not everybody, is The Family Way, 1966. Super film. It's about, you know, a young couple that get married and they can't consummate the, the wedding. He's nervous. And, um, and John Mills plays the uh, hierarchical sort of father he, his daughter's married Ewell Bennett that's the actor and uh, they have a scene and I, I, I love this scene they're gonna have a, a, an arm wrestle all that you know going on and Ewell Bennett's character the young man that's nervous of course and you know he's the he's the problem in the in the film he takes him on and he he begins to beat him because he's an old guy in the film is John Mills the father figure and uh, he beats him and then he looks in his eye and he can see that desperation to win 
He does not want to lose. Ah, oh, got a break off. Look at the little squirrel. Look. Can you see it there? Look. Look at it jumping up and down. See its little tail going. Cute, isn't it? You always get squirrels in graveyards. Cute. Yeah, and he, he, he's winning him, and he sees that look in his eye. And uh, Yule Bennett's character thinks, oh, got to let him win, and he does. John Mills, the father figure, wins. It's a, it's a great, great English film again. Great humour and um, well acted. I could watch that over and over again. It's superb. Bye, mate. Sir John Mills, CBE, was born Lewis Ernest Watts Mills on the 22nd of February 1908. He was an English actor who appeared in more than 120 films in his career, spanning seven decades. He excelled on camera as an appealing British everyman who often portrayed guideless wounded heroes. In 1971, he received the Academy Award for the best supporting actor for his performance in Ryan's Daughter. For his work in films, Mills was knighted by Elizabeth II in 1976. In 2002, he received a BAFTA Fellowship from the British Academy of Films and Television Arts and was named Disney Legend by the Walt Disney Company. John Mills was born in North Elm, Norfolk, the son of Edith Mills, near Baker, a theatre box office manager, and Lewis Mills, a mathematic teacher. Mills was born at Watts Naval School, where his father was a master. He spent his early years in the village of Belton, where his father was a headmaster of the village school. He first felt the thrill of performing at the concert in the school hall when he was only six years old. He then lived in a modest house in Gainsborough Road, Felixstowe, Suffolk, until 1929. His eldest sister was Anita Mills, remember as presenter of BBC Television's Muffin the Mule, 1946 to 1955. Upon leaving school, he worked as a clerk at the Corn Merchants in Ipswich before finding employment in London as a commercial traveller for the Sanitas Disinfection Company. In the years leading up to John Mills' death, he appeared on television only on special occasions, his sight having failed almost completely by 1992. After that, his film roles were brief cameos. He wrote an autobiography entitled Up in the Clouds, Gentlemen, Please, which was published in 1980 and revised in 2001. Mills died on the 23rd of April 2005 in Denham, Buckinghamshire, at the age of 97, Mills was appointed a commander of the Order of the British Empire, a CBE, in 1960. In 1976, he was knighted by the Queen. In 1999, at the age of 91, Mills became the oldest joining member of the Entertainment Charitable Fraternity, the Grand Order of the Water Rats. In 2002, he received a fellowship of the British Academy of Films and Television Arts, a BAFTA, their highest award, and was named Disney's legend by the Walt Disney Company. Okay, let's read it then, here we go. Sir John Mills, CBE, actor, 1908 to 2005. Whatever the road my life may take, wherever the rainbow ends, I'll go to my rest and know I'm blessed with the very best of friends. And his beloved wife, Mary Haley Bell, Writer, 1911 to 2005. Come friends, tis not too late to seek a newer world. Push off and sitting well in order smite. The, sun, the sounding furrows for my purpose holes to sail beyond the sunset. Well done, John and Mary. Loved your films, John. Fantastic. Superb. Thank you, John. What a talented family they were. Juliet and Haley, both actresses. His son Jonathan was a screen fitter. And of course Mary was a very famous authoress. So they really were talented. It's 
lovely to do such a positive one today and uh, it's a gorgeous day so I hope you're all being positive and enjoying everything you can grasp every little bit and squeeze it out and don't forget to subscribe and ding that bell because if you do if you want to you'll see you'll never miss the films they're all free and of course a thumbs up and a comment will be fantastic because I like to get to know everyone and uh, I hope to see you all very soon again on Motor on Beep Beep. Take care everyone. Bye from me Alan. Bye.